Hola, hola. Buenas noches. Ok. Good evening. Ok, perfect. Ya somos tres. Hello, guys. Good evening. Excellent. Hi. Good evening. Say good evening. Come on. Good evening. Ok, right now you don't have any microphone. Ok. Good evening.
now. Let's go into share the screen. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Oh, okay. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. Hello, teacher. Tenía el micrófono apagado. Yo tenía, no escuchaba nada por eso. Okay, there you go. Now we're going to start right now. So I already know that you guys already did the one, two, three section. So do you remember that we were talking about this thing that it was the comparative superlatives? ¿Se recuerda? Hello? Good evening. Good evening. I, I remember that. Excellent, very good. Okay, there you go, excellent. Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, pantalla está bien ahorita. Eh, un WhatsApp. ¿Verdad que sí? Sí, disculpen, yeah. va a disculpar. Ok, perfecto. Voy a cerrar esta ventana, van a disculpar. Uy, I'm sorry. There you go. So, we have here, ¿se recuerdan que estaban viendo de uh, this one that was the comparatives and superlatives? Yes. Esto lo vamos a convertir, ok, a PDF y se lo pueden ver desde ahorita de ya. ¿Les parece? Okay, okay. Teacher. Sí. Sí. Disculpen. It's just that I comparatives. Uh, okay, favor alejar. Comparatives. And superlatives. Okay, perfect. PDF. Okay. There you go. Now. Ahorita mismo se la puede enviar en el WhatsApp. Ok, WhatsApp. One moment. This is going to be recorded. Esto va a ser recién grabado. Sin embargo, son con usos... Eh, con fines de, de educación, ¿verdad? Ok. There you go. Y nos vamos a tomar más tiempo hoy. Comparatives and superlatives. There you go. Excellent. Hasta las 10. Si quiere. <laughs> Don't worry. Ya les, o sea, ya les cayó, ¿verdad? De igual manera, mm -hmm. however, let's go to start like this. At this moment, vamos a comenzar con esto. Okay. Sí, ya nos cayó. Excellent. Okay. This is going to be a little bit fast. Ya sabemos lo de las comparaciones. Now, this is easy, guys. So, right now, vamos a analizar el video fast. Se puede, nos podemos quedar más tiempo, así que no, no tengan pena por eso. Okay, let's go to see. Hi, in this class, we'll practice our pronunciation. Listen to the intonation of questions of choice. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Where is she going to listen? Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part A of exercise 3 again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil or Greece? Why is he talking about pronunciation? Because you are giving choices, están dando opciones. So it's not the same that you say, for example, no es lo mismo que usted diga, which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Hmm? Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Hmm? No, it's to make emphasis on the question, which city, which country, 
which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Okay, which country is the most interesting? Esa entonación, that you make a question is important. Korea, Brazil, or Greece? You are giving choices. La pronunciación, question of choice. You are not going to say Korea, Brazil, or Greece, right? For example, it's not the same to say Santiago de Juan Nonalco. Ahí se va una correa, Santiago de Juan Nonalco. But if you say countries, that's why it is the coma. Korea, Brazil, or Greece. That's why it's often about the inclination. Es algo básico. Now, I want you to go, porque tenemos que ir rápido si se fijaron, ¿verdad? Okay, distance and measurements. Ahorita estamos viendo esto superficial. Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of... Let's go into analyze the conversation, okay? It says, I'm going to Australia next year. Let's go into analyze. Are you from Australia? Okay, actually, I'm from New Zealand. Okay, so the New Zealand. I didn't know. So what's it like this? So what? what's it like, that, like there? Okay, oh, it's beautiful. It has a lot of farms. Ya va declinando lo que es lo cuantitativo, ¿verdad? Ahí va, bueno, esto cuantitativo. And very mountainous. Really, how? Ahí está para saber. Distance and measures. How are you? How is everything? How high? Que altura are the mountains? Esto de altura, high, de monta, que tan alto es. Okay. How high? Well, the highest. ¿Por qué dice the highest, chicos? Quiero ver si prestan atención a las clases. Es como el más alto. ¿Por qué es el más alto? Es decir, no, no hay otro más alto que ese. ¿Por qué dice que es el más alto? Está utilizando el superlativo de highest. Y es Excellent. Very good. Ok. One month cook. Ok. It's about 3,800 meters high. Imagínense que alto. 3,800 metros. Mm. How far? Que tan lejos. Ok. Is New Zealand from Australia? How far? How, how, how high? Son preguntas que se hacen instancias. Okay. Now, well, I live in Auckland and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Okay. Vivo entre parte. And, e, and it's about 2,000 kilometers. ¿De dónde se dónde? Because you are comparing something. How far is? Desde que ustedes utilizan how far, es porque ya tienen una distancia previa, ¿sí? How far is, uh, I don't know, for example, uh, ¿cómo se llama esta plaza? I forgot. Well, la plaza que está en Soyopango. I don't know, I remember, but it's very nice. Okay. Uh, how far is Plaza uh, Nueva Cucatlán? Okay, Plaza Mundo. Plaza Mundo, thank you. How far is Plaza Mundo from... Plaza Merliot. Okay, how far is it? It's around four kilometers. Yes, or eight kilometers. I don't know. Es pequeño, no? Okay, so you are talking about distances. Ya tienen que tener una distancia previa. How far, how tall, how big, que tan grande. Okay, so it depends how, yes. Now, well, I live in Oakland. It's about 2,000 kilometers. Well, Maybe I should visit you next year too. Esto de how se está refiriendo en este momento. This distances and measurements. Okay. Now, pueden preguntar también. How many kilometers? How many meters? How big? Okay. How deep? Que tan profundo? Yes. It is talking about distances, measurements, or dips. Depende para qué lo que pueda preguntar. El how. Porque no van a decir who, no van a decir where, what, no. Queremos saber qué tan. Yes, that's why we're using how. Es una de las que se les considera doble question. 
pero para utilizarlos más que para estancias entre otras, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, one moment, please. Come on. Hi again. The as far as New Zealand from Australia. Once again, now if you check here, talking about big, tall, deep, hot, cold, son adjetivos que pueden ocupar para esto. Quiero ver how fat. Quiero ver otro adjetivo. It depends on how are you talking about. How far, how big, how high, how deep, how long, how hot, qué tan caliente, qué tan helado, qué tan profundo, qué tan alto, qué tan grande, qué tan lejos. Este how is considered como que si fuera una de los WH questions. If it's true, it's not a WH, porque no tenemos una W y una H, pero es considerada para hacer unas preguntas básicas. ¿Se recuerdan que las WH question? ¿Qué me puede decir las WH question? Tres al menos. What, when, why. Excellent. So, our those son aquellas que nos ayudan a ampliar nuestra conversación, a saber, a conocer más de ella. Okay, so it's the same here. Okay. Where are you going to do? I'm sorry, where are you going to go? Who are you going to do? Who are you going to go with? Why are you going to do? Why are you going to that place? How beautiful is that place? For example, Cafe Santa Cruz is just a beautiful place. How beautiful is Cafe Santa, uh, Santa Cruz? Okay, it could be an example. So you use an adjective in this case. Now, Questions about this? Creo que esto es más sencillo, ¿no? Se sobreentiende que el how lo ocupamos para hacer preguntas más allá de distancias, medidas, etc. First, it goes sí. to how. Va al principio, obviamente, como toda the H question, and then comes the adjective. Ok, I got it, teacher. Thank you. Perfect. Selena, Roberto, Brenda. Sí, se entiende. Okay. Yes, yeah, Anderson. It's kind of easy, right? Now, estoy corriendo con usted porque quiero más que todo me preocupa otra cosa. Okay. Now, here it says, pay attention to this one. To people making plans, future pre with Present continuous and be going are to are introduced. Okay. Now let's go to check. Let's to see. Plans. Part A. I do apologize. Pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember. Analyze the two ways to express the future for a plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterwards, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Remember about the going to? Para que se ve el going to, chicos. It's for explain in future, in the future. Always that you listen for, like going to, it is expressing like the future. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. That's why it says making plans. Plans. For example, Joaquin, what are you going to do on Sunday? Uh, the Sunday I, I will, no, I'm going to the church. I'm going to the church. Excellent. Selena, what are you going to do tomorrow? Oh, 
I am going to uh, class in the church. Okay, so music list. Excellent, very good. Excellent. Now, let's going to pay attention to this once again. Igual tengo material para ustedes, tranquilo. Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? We're going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until five. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we planned actions in the future. Okay, plan and actions in the future. Siempre van a hacer acciones a futura, both of them. You are certain that something is going to happen in the future. Tienen una certeza que algo va a pasar. Okay, main difference. When making predictions, we do not use present continuous. Okay, rather we use be going to or will. Okay, be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you are going to break your classes. Okay, ¿por qué? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Once again, it's so cloudy. I think it's going to rain. Okay. Para qué es el be going to otra vez? For explain the the plan in the future. Okay. But, but you have a certain. Yes, to make prediction when making predictions. Okay, and it's depressing. Okay, in this case, be going to will be going to watch out. You are going to. I will consider that to make. Por qué? To break the classes. It's so cloudy. I think. It's going to rain. Yes. The main difference, okay, when making predictions, we do not use present continuous, rather, we use be going to or will. For example, es algo más que todo, por eso es que dice aquí, no utilizamos el present continuous en vez de esto, ¿verdad? Un ejemplo, yes, podría ser esto. It's so cloudy. I think it's going to rain. Una cosa es que hagamos un plan, I'm going to, then the other one, that seems like something you are making a predictions, right? I think it's going to rate, you are going to rate the classes. Chicos, es sumamente igual, siempre se ocupan para futuro, okay? Plan actions in the future, you are center, certain, Ojo a esto, certain that something is going to happen in the future. Algo va a suceder en ese momento. Okay. Future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen. Examples with me. Be going to, to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be. Form of present continuous, okay? Okay, subject, yes. Verb to be, she's watching, okay? Present continuous, ojo chicos, present continuous, okay? She's watching a movie. They are going, what is the difference? They are going to the concert, okay? They are going to the concert. Y aquí, se me, aquí no fue, they are going to the concert, van a ir, ¿verdad? always talking about the future and here is using the verb to be present continuous okay um r is plus a verb plus ing examples she's watching a movie ahora es algo confuso esto y lo sé porque se están preguntando pero si es present continuous como es esto si el going to es para futuro ojo acá she's watching a movie. Y el, ¿cómo que se llama? Ah, ¿qué es este verbo? 
está en pasado, presente, está en progresivo, así como este. ¿En qué tiempo está? ¿Qué es la diferencia, la, la, la similitud de estos dos verbos? Watching and going. Bien. Excellent. ING. Entonces, no se dejen ir exactamente solo porque dicen el going to. Aquí pusimos un verbo. Pero aquí también lo estamos poniendo. That's why it says form of present continuous. Es confuso, claro, lo sé, porque están acostumbrados a este ser para futuro. But this is talking about, in some other way, they are going to the concert. No es lo mismo. It's not the same to say. They are going to go to the concert. That says they are going to the concert. Vamos a ver lo que para explicarlo mejor. Oh, come on. They are going to the concert. They are eating tacos. My sister say okay. They are going to go to to the they want to go to the concert. Going to eat tacos. My sister, my sister is going to study. Vamos a ver esto. Come on. I do apologize. Okay. She's watching a movie. Ok. Quiero hacer no que estamos utilizando el verbo to be. My sister is studying. They are eating. ¿Vamos viendo? Sí. Is, are. No, we can, we can see the, the screen. No pueden verla. We are watching the, the video. What? Section 15.3. Okay. Okay. No, yes? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, oh, yes. perfect. Sí, disculpe, entonces. So, now, if you can see, my sister is, bird to be, studying. Así como empezaron anteriormente. They are no, I'm sorry, she is watching a movie. Okay. They are verb to be y they're ing, ¿verdad? Estamos. Ahora vamos a qué? They are verb to be y el verbo va en gerundio. No se enfoquen, pero que teacher aquí dice tú. Sí, chicos, pero recuerden que es un auxiliar porque está diciendo que el verbo Go. Este fue nuestro verbo, que no se confunde. Y al ponerlo en gerundio, es going. Y como estamos hablando de ir, 
automáticamente tiene ser para hacer una conexión to. Pregunten aquí, deténganme. ¿Se entiende por qué es aquí un going to? Es solo un simple verbo como estos. Pero se confunden porque ese teacher pero está acompañado de un to. Este to es para decirnos a dónde. Es un auxiliar simple. Así es nomás. Así. Ahora, it's not the same. No es lo mismo. That they are going. Ok, they are going to, mejor dicho. They are going to. Aquí se aplica. Ay, no puede ser. Otra vez me fue. Ok. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama esto? Ball. Ok. They are going to. Verbo. Forma base. Go. To. ¿Por qué el they are going to go to? Porque este fue quien nos ayudó. Permítame. Aquí lo voy a empezar mejor por esto. My sister is going to. Ver to be. El verbo going. Que se nos ayuda para hacer que futuro. Y junto con el to. Porque si es el futuro. Voy a. Va a. Ok. Is going to. Lo mismo acá. They are going to. Going to what? Play, eat, drink, teach. Going to eat. Este fue nuestro verbo. They are going to. Otra vez nos dice, estamos en futuro. ¿A dónde? ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora? Going to go. Vamos a ir. Y como necesitamos auxiliar para decir a dónde, por lo tanto, acompañado. Otra vez, to. No se me confundan que este es un to y este es otro to. ¿Sí? No se me confundan solo porque aquí hay un to. Pregúntenme, por favor. Yo sé que puede haber confusión en estos. Uh -huh. No por mi dicho. Selena, Roberto, Lorena, Saúl, no, Carla, Josué, Lisette, Jenny. No one? No. Ok, once again, please. So, they are, just pay attention here, once again, so le hago el emphasis. Do not confuse this. If you pay attention, once again, my sister is the subject. Bird to be is. Then comes the board. I'm sorry, the board. The verb in the ing. Starting. They are eating. They are going. Y esta fue nuestra conexión. Do not confuse that this is a future. No digan, pero que dice going to is a future. No. Now there is a difference. My sister is going to study. Future. They are going to eat tacos. They are going to go. Y para hacer la conexión a dónde? To. Is it clear? Come on, guys. Tell me something. Teacher, yes. mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, differentiate. Uh, the, there are going to the, con the concert and my sister is going to the uh, study. Ah, okay. They are going to the concert. My sister is going to study. Okay, one moment. Oh, yes. Okay. Aquí está la diferencia. My sister is going to. Y aquí está nuestro verbo. This is our verb. Por lo tanto, este es futuro. Now, they are going to. Ya es uno en presente. Lo que estamos viendo. Okay. Would the verb be in progressive? ¿Por qué? Porque aquí dijimos ya, this is the verb. Este fue nuestro verbo. Ok. Este es nuestro verbo. My sister is going to, y aquí está nuestro verbo siguiente. Esa es la clave. Después del going to, va a ir un verbo para un futuro. 
going to eat, going to play, going to drink, going to teach, going to type, going to text, going to call. Porque no dijo nada de going to qué? The concert is not a verb. No es un verbo. So that's why it says that it's talking about what? ¿De qué está hablando? Present, Present continuo. Uh -huh. Ahorita van, ¿verdad? Porque okay, están yendo. No lo quiero traducir literalmente. But that's the difference. Future, con future, there is another verb. Hay otro verbo. Questions? No. Sure? ¿Segura? La única diferencia es el verbo. After this, it comes a verb. Esa es la única diferencia. Ok. Ok, perfecto. They're going to the concert. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be. Um, are, is plus going to. ¿Qué ven aquí? El be going to. Is this, is this past, present, or future? Is it present continuous? I think it's future. ¿Por qué? Que responda que ustedes saben la respuesta, chicos. ¿Por qué cree eso? Come on. Oh, sí. espérese, 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 espérese. Una chica dijo eso. A ver, respóndame ahora. ¿Por qué cree eso? Usted tiene la respuesta. Dígamela. La chica, ¿qué opinó de eso? Because uh, you say that when it's future, uh, is uh, Después va el verbo. O sea, justo. No lleva como otra There palabra. There you go. Excellent. You got it. You got it. Excellent. 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 You see? Ahí está. Ahí tiene la respuesta. Trust on yourselves. Excellent. No digan, I think that. If you think, ask. ¿Cree? Pregunte. Okay, but be sure of yourselves. Yes, you're great. Estamos bien. Now, creo que esto está claro, ¿verdad? Creo. Pregunte ahora, Roberto, algo así. Bueno, ahorita mismo me voy a hacer un ejemplo cada uno. We're going to start with Joaquín. Sé que estoy, estoy seguro que lo hacen rápido. Joaquín, go ahead. Excuse me, teacher. An example for the future. Uh... Voy a empezar yo. I'm going to teach to my students. I'm going to pay attention. Excellent. Selena? Yeah, I'm going, I going to cook in breakfast. I'm going to cook in breakfast. Excellent. Quijano, Mr. Quijano, go ahead. Okay, uh, Lorena Alonso, continue, please. Uh, I'm going to play with my dog. Excellent, very good. Lizette Sarakai. Okay, Carla Ortiz. She is going to play soccer. Excellent. In the morning. Excellent. Very good. She's going to play soccer in the morning. Okay, so Lito, go ahead. Tampoco. Okay, Josué Torres. Um, I'm going to talk with my friends. Excellent. So Lito. I am going to sleep tonight. Excellent. Very good. Ya estamos. Vamos sí, chicos. Yo sé que están bien. Ahora, siempre les hacen el énfasis in you already know, como se lo he explicado varias veces en ocasiones anteriores. I'm not, she is not, we are not, he has not, they are not going to, uh, etc. Para todo lo negativo, remember always the not, como les hice y les mencioné en las clases pasadas, siempre el not. Ok. Bye. No. Plus a verb, plus oh. ing, plus complement and question this. WH question word plus B plus subject plus verb 
plus ing, plus complement and question. Forget about the formulas. Las fórmulas solamente nos dan como pasos, pero es entre que ustedes se van a memorizar. WH plus. You are going to be like, uh, just uh, una fluidez, no worries. Always just remember about this, okay? Always remember, yes, that there is a WH question if you want to get big or if you want to know more. Always get a WH question, okay? Just remember about it. Always you need an auxiliary. The auxiliary can be have or has, do and does, did, uh, is, in este caso, is because we're using a different tense. Porque estamos hablando de going to, okay? Where are you celebrating your graduation? Okay, what is he doing? Estamos utilizando con el ING, yes, and he's talking about um, the present, okay? With the present ING, and the double-edged question que siempre va al principio. Okay, now let's going to continue. Question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this. WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information. answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Okay, it says that our expressions, but it's exactly more than expressions that you are talking or better say a time frame or not a time frame. Mejor no dicho un tiempo de no es eso. Es more being specific tonight. No están diciendo a qué horas, but it's an expression. Tonight could be at night, 10, 11, 12, tonight, tomorrow. Okay, solo está especificando, mejor dicho, mencionando fechas o diciendo on Friday, but you are not talking exactly as about an hour. No lo tomen como expresión. Okay, now. Preguntas mientras tanto, que es lo que más me interesa del going to and the uses. No, nope, porque ya vamos a ver después este cuadrito que tengo para ustedes. Uy, que se me hizo. Aquí está. Okay, perfect. Solo voy a cerrar un par de ventanas que abrí sin querer. I do apologize. Just save. Okay, forget about this. Bye. Me interesa que le metamos para comprender bien. Que avancemos, perdón. Okay. Can I? ¿Para qué ocupamos el can I? Para Permiso. una habilidad. Permiso. Models for several things, right? Excellent. Uy. Let's going to listen. Hello, everyone. In the conversation we're about to hear, Two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, remember that in this case, ¿qué está haciendo? 
está solicitando sí. un permiso, está prohibiendo, está uh, making a request. What is he doing? In the front desk, he is receiving a message. Receiving a message. And in that case, it is uh, like kind of a request. Can I take a message? Okay, it's talking about como un request, ¿verdad? Si gusta, puedo tomar un mensaje. Can I take a message? Okay. Acuérdense que más que en esta conversación, remember about when do we use the models, los que le mandé la vez pasada, o les mostré. For what and when, right? Pay attention to this one. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page one. What it means tell and what it means ask. Tell tell is decir. Tell, tell decir, ask, preguntar, or pedir. No, tell. 103. Exercise 8. Grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. Okay. If you pay attention here, ¿quién observado en esto? Remember to sound, ¿qué? Continue reading. Para sonar como? Polite. Polite. Contest. Okay, you may use, please, could you, would you, as a polite, right? Okay, so for messages with statement, okay? Tell, ¿por qué? Porque anteriormente, could you tell, can you tell, okay? No me confundir, okay, it's just another things, right? Could you tell, can you tell, etc., etc., etc. No se confundan con nada más. In this case, it's talking about the models and how can we uh, make a conversation, right? Okay. Si se fija, that's why it says could, would, I'm sorry, and please. Tell, ¿por qué? Could you tell to the teacher that I won't be at classes? Could you tell to the teacher? Okay. La excepción could, then the person could you, and then the verb plus this, right? Could you tell, could you, uh, I don't know, could you play, could you dance with me, etc., etc., etc. Now, questions? Tomar eso como uno, chiquitos. Now, voy a pasar a esto mejor. The tenses, los tiempos. Esto solo lo, lo hice yo hace tiempito. We have those that are the simple, los que tienen que ir ya eh, hablándolo. Those that are the simples, those that are the progressives, and those that are the present perfect. Okay? So, aquí tenemos ah, simple, yo los catalogué así. Para hacerlo de la manera más atractiva y más fácil, that is, hay tres: simple, progressive, and perfect, because entre ellos está 
simple present. Joaquin is studying simple past. I'm sorry, simple present. Joaquin studies English. Simple past. Joaquin studied French. Hablando del pasado. Simple future. Joaquin is going to do. Uh, Joaquin is going to just to learn or to study Mandarin. Okay. Talking about the future. ¿Se entiende? Sí. Ahora viene lo más bonito. Okay, wait. Simple past. ¿Cuál es nuestro auxiliar? Oh, simple past. Yes. Okay. So, once again, simple present, simple past, and simple future. Okay. El did, as you tell before. And the simple future, it is the going to, right? Mm -hmm. Going to. Teacher, we can use, can we use? Uh, will. Mm -hmm. it's going, we can use going to or, or will. Will. What do you mean with will? Will. Ah. I will go. Yes. Recuerden que el will be, besides the going to, el will es algo más como más certero. Sí. Algo más certero. I will do it. Or I'm sorry, I will. ¿Qué te pasa? Claro. Yes. Um, are you going to do the bitch with me? Yes, of course. I will. Right. Then comes something. Ahí va algo que es eh, importante. Um, no está ahí, ¿verdad? Okay. It's exactly. Um, they're going to. No sé cómo explicar esto. Detalles actualmente. But basically, todo lo que esté en su entorno. Um, it helps you in that case if you want to do something about the future. Lo mismo acá. That we were talking about. Yes, past and future. Tengo una sobrinita que es muy pequeña, tiene menor de 18 años. Puede sacar una holiday visa. So in that case, it could be for the future, right? Simple future. She's going to take the holiday visa. Past. She studied three years at uh, Le Bouquet. Okay. So it is more que nosotros queremos eh, más allá saber. Depende del tiempo, ¿verdad? Que es... Um, ¿Cómo se utilizan? Aquí los tengo. Ok. Por ejemplo, the simple present. ¿Quién es la maquita aquí? ¿Quiénes son nuestros auxiliares? The verb to be. Yes. The pencil. Depende, ¿verdad? Before, do. I'm sorry. Um, before, do and does. Ok. Por ejemplo, I don't or I do not sing along. Again, do I sing a song? Ok. No, you just uh, seem terrible, but in the middle, right? Okay, could be an example. So for each one, por cada uno tenemos a este. One moment. Por cada uno tenemos como hacer la oración. But, sin embargo, les hice también esto. Okay, one moment, please. I do apologize. Believe me that I just want to be. Ah, uh, there you go. Hey, hey, can, can you share this information? Yes. Ahorita. Yeah. All information? Yes. Hey, it's nice. Thank you. No problem. So, aquí tenemos los seis tiempos. Tienen que saber manejarlos. One, two, three, four, six, six. I'm sorry, three, four. Well, cuántas son? <laughs> no, 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 no. Ay, no los quiero asustar. Tranquilos. Cometen que están todos. Cometen todos todo esto. Okay, imagínense que esto no está. Es más, se lo puedo borrar. Uy. Well, actually. Esta persona doesn't have no friends, but it says like knowledge question. Yes. In the simple present, pueden añadir qué es lo que quieren exactamente este día. No es algo de carne vieja, ¿verdad? Okay. What is exactly what do you guys want this day? Okay. Uh, that was a lesson that I just got. Una lección. Okay. Where do you go? ¿Dónde vas? How far is it from here? ¿Qué tan lejos es de aquí, verdad? 
okay uh, how long is it the, the shift depending on the shift okay questions no teacher vaya continuando con la compañera lo que dijo es que uy ahora que no le dé miedo simple present simple past simple future ok el simple future creo que lo manejamos ¿Quién fue la compañía que preguntó respecto a la... No. Yes. Oh, well, she. She spoke, she spoke with someone. I just vino a exponer su caso. Okay. So basically the same here. Tenemos these six tenses, que son de los más importantes para hablar con una conversación. Okay. Um, and the simple future. Recordemos que toda oración lleva... Un doble H question, una toda pregunta, ya, yeah. doble H question, ¿verdad? Ok, what, when, where, how, and who, etc. Ok, so, how is your father? Ok, bye um, chiquitos, díganme por favor nuevamente, um, what do you usually do? when you're talking about something about the future and what about if someone says mejor dicho, dice, okay you think so a ver deben ejemplo ustedes con algo en el simple simple present Necesitamos energía, chicos. Ok, something for a simple present. I am eating right now. And for the simple future? I'm going to eat okay. going in, the to... in the restaurant. Ok. Continue, chico, el otro chico, simple past. ¿Quién puede dar el simple past? Ok, ok. Vamos. I, uh -huh. I, I ate pupusas yesterday. Ate pupusas yesterday. Excellent, very good. Ok. Um, Present for us, okay. Selena. No. No, teacher, a eso no le entiendo yo. Vale, perfecto. Esa, gracias. Um, no hemos abarcado todo esto. Probablemente es un poco abrumante. Lo estoy sacando como algo extra porque ustedes no. están en intermedio. Tenemos diferentes tiempos. Estos tiempos pueden ser um, pasado, presente y futuro. Pero mate ellos. Ok. Partiendo de ahí. Hay más. Ojo. Hay más tiempos. Tiempos nos indica. It helps us to know what exactly. De dónde está dónde estamos llegando. ¿Verdad? Ok. Simple present. Aquí lo estamos marcando. Simple past. Simple future. Aún no parece bonito, pero es solo dejar la imagen. But you don't know if you are going to change uh, or the idea you have before. Now, we have here, todos somos criticados por algo. Okay. It is not asking about, um, about the job. Okay. No mires más allá que no sea algo de trabajo. Y aquí tenemos, formamos las policies, por ejemplo. Okay. Now, we have the simple future, simple present, and... No, I wonder it was um, ¿cómo se esto? to the van. Ok. Ahora, me preguntan, no lo entiendo. Lo que hice aquí, chicos, es que agarré las doble H questions. Ok. Y las hice. Por ejemplo, what does the students design? Ok. What. Otra que yo puse fue, what did your mother ensign? Ah, I think that was is dancing. Okay, why was your mother dancing? 
the cooking example. ¿Por qué? Esto pudiera haber sido en cuál? Past progressive. ¿Por qué digo past progressive? ¿Dónde está chiquito? Ok, ok, ok. Perfect. So, um, hacemos bonitas, ¿verdad? Las hacemos bonitas para tener buena atención. ¿Qué quisiera creer eso? But well. Ok, now, is this when vanilla, why, etc., etc. Alguien me comenta que era de tres cilindros. 175, ok. So, yes. ¿Algo más? Teacher, I think if, if you share the information, we can read uh, slowly in, in our houses. Ok, one more. Uh, if if uh, we have doubts, uh, maybe ask uh, the next Thursday. Or, no, Monday? One moment, please. Primero voy a enviarles eso. Six dances. Uh, and in this level, we need to to know the all the information the the six uh, groups. Recibieron la información eh, que se les envió valga la redundancia en el grupo. Desde sí. parte de Elena. No, let me see. Eh, hemos recibido bastantes eh, escritos, tanto de sistemas como de, sí, la señorita Elena, hay uno. Mm, Ahorita. De presentar los documentos. Mm. We have received sí, the information. Ajá, nos hace énfasis de que tenemos que entregar los trabajos y que ya casi se va a acabar la unidad, cosas así. About y, to get 80%. El, uh, 80 of the course are great. Okay, perfect. Déjeme ahorita ver esto. Como lo guardé. Public question, right? One moment, please. Come on. Ah, tengo que cerrarlo. Okay. I do apologize. Sorry que mi computadora está ahí. Le voy a mandar la presentación también. Eh, y cualquier duda que tengan, por favor, háganmela saber respecto al material que les estoy dando, ¿verdad? Eh, lamento que está un poquito lenta mi computadora. Don't worry, teacher. Uh, I can see you are uh, very tired. Uh, you need to take a, a rest right now. No, oh, I have a big headache. <laughs> yeah. Big... So right now is exactly the time. We need to leave right now because you 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 need to take a rest. No, 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 no. I'm okay. I just already take uh, some pills. Ya tomé un par de pastillas. How to learn it? Entonces, aquí estamos. Estamos bien. Entonces, por mí, si me quiero quedar a las 10, la verdad. Por mí, me quedar a las 10. Por mí, no tengo problema. Me duermo tipo 11, 11 y media. Uh, no, no for me because uh, tomorrow I no, need no, to no, wake yeah, up at 40, I know. 40 a.m. I know, I know, I know. Okay, just one moment. Le paso esto ahorita mismo y le paso la presentación. Okay. Eh, por uh, favor. I'm sorry, por teacher. Favor. I, I, I need to leave right now. Okay, go, go, go. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you so much. And no night. problem, no problem. Okay. Teacher is a little late. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead. No worries. I do apologize. Yeah. No, disculpen, ok. Sí, me, se me pasó la mano. Es la costumbre de teacher. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> ok, perfect. Take care, guys. Flor no tiene clase ahora, teacher. 
No, 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 I don't. Ay, qué um, bien. That's why <laughs> I just... Por eso. So that was I just, I was asking for it. No sé si lo estaba preguntando. Ok. Ahorita lo que les quería pasar era esto. Pero si se tienen que ir, denle, denle, doble H question. No se preocupe. Lo que sí me interesa es que aprendan esto de los seis tiempos y lo dominen bien, ¿verdad? Ok, doble H question. Well. Se lo voy a pasar de igual manera, no worries, but I just want to be sure. Quiero saber, ahorita se me está con problema en la computadora. I just want to be sure that you guys, it is, se ve complejo, pero quiero quitarles el susto a los que se quieren quedar, porque no quiero que se queden con eso, no entiendo nada. Ok, solamente. Um, ok, so we have simple present, tenemos diferentes tiempos, básicamente. Ok. Simple present, simple past, simple future, which is to help us. Nos está ayudando. Ok, just focus, que cuesta. Ok. Um, what does? Recuerden que el simple present, tenemos el auxiliar, lo que es el do y el does. Ok. Que nos ayuda para la tercera persona. Les quiero quitar la idea que esto es algo difícil. Um, what does the student? ¿Por qué pusimos does? Tercera persona. Eso es lo que quiero dejarles claro. Que no me hagan asustar por este gran cuadro. What do the singer sing? Y el por qué do y por qué no es dos. Porque son ellos. Ok, perfect. Qué pena, son un poco los que quedaron. No sé si quieren que los retire. Ok. Um, no sé, ustedes mandan. Ok, I just want to be clear with this. Um, did. It is for the past, ok? Hablando del did is for the past. Van a ver que aquí el do Andrés en Javier no puse el does porque son plural, ¿verdad? Ok. Which book does which book today? Ok. With, who do you watch the movie with? Ok. Who asked the questions? Why do you? Y todo esto porque está basado en el simple present. Simple past, checking, el did. Simple future, aquí está Jenny Escobar. ¿Quién es Jenny Escobar? ¿Quién está haciendo esto si no hay nadie más? Ahí está una Jenny Escobar. Ay, no, qué pena, no sabía, no me he dado cuenta que había ah, más. Ah, se acaba de salir. Ay. Yo la vi. <ríe> ok, no worries. No. Ok, what is your father? When Adrian, ok, y utilizamos el are going to, present policy, que es lo que estaban viendo anteriormente. What is she singing, el verbo ing. What are the teachers singing, utilizan el verb with the auxiliary be, ok. Past progressive, que utilizamos the was and where. Esto no lo están viendo, chicos, sin embargo, le va a servir de ayuda, ya sea para futuro. Ok, le voy a mandar las dos presentaciones y creo que lo más difícil para hacer para ustedes son los tiempos. And if you have any questions regarding to this, lo que les quiero dar a conocer ahorita que no es mayor cosa, se van a querer, no se me pierdan mucho si no han visto los tiempos, tranquilos. Enfóquense para entender el present progressive and the simple future, que yo les he puesto como simple future, que es lo mismo que el, with el going to, ¿verdad? It's always going to sing, going to eat, going to speak, going to play. Ok. Básicamente eso todos los pueden checar. Estamos hablando, eh, ¿cómo que se llama? Dos tiempos totalmente diferentes, ¿verdad? ¿Questions? No. No questions. Ok. Tranquilos, entonces. Perfecto. Lo dejo entonces. Take care, guys. Bye. Okay, teacher. Bye, okay, teacher. Good night. Excellent. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night.